not gonna work. That'll work. Hey, okay, so look guys, uh, happy Wednesday to you. Man, um, I had a, what did I do? I, I went out late Sunday and ended up um, sleeping in a little bit Monday morning and then had a pretty busy day. Went to the um, gig Monday night. Young Tom wasn't with us, my helper that comes and picks me up and uh, does our sound for us and sets my guitars and amps and everything up and it's just a huge help. Uh, he's taking the Blackbird Academy right now, which is awesome. He's learning how to do all kinds of amazing stuff at the Blackbird Academy. Um, and so uh, Tom was out of town. He was down in Destin with his girlfriend having a big time. And so I got to the gig and realized we had a bunch of people there and we didn't have a sound man, which we don't need much. Kick drum mic and a vocal mic for me to, you know, bullshit in between songs and introduce the, the cats in the band and tell some hor horrible jokes, as you guys know if you've been there. There's a lot of bullshit in between songs because, you know, it's instrumental music. You got to do something. And so um, uh, Tom wasn't there. So we got there. We like, oh, my God, we don't have a sound man. Had to call in Cody. He came down and saved us. And uh, and so it was kind of a disheveled night start. You know, I wasn't feeling super hot. And and so, but, man, as soon as, for some reason, as soon as we hit that stage Monday night, man, you know within a matter of seconds, and I'm going to get into some cool guitar stuff here in just a second for you uh folks but um man you just know i know if if so the first song we play is buck to answer stories and we do our amped up latin you know our kind of Latin African version of Buck Dancer's Choice, which is an old uh, finger picking song. Uh, and so I know within, if I can get through that intro and into the first couple notes of that solo of that song on the first song, first couple minutes of the night, that paves the way for the whole rest of the night for me. If I get sideways on that first intro riff or the solo, getting into the solo, man, it's like you start stumbling on your words and you're kind of toast for the whole rest of the night. I can rarely uh, salvage a bad start. If I have a good start, I'm good for the rest of the night. If I have a bad start, I might be able to redeem myself personally on my second set, but it's not great. And so for me, I need to really kick ass and get into that mindset on the first couple notes of the first song. So... For some reason, Monday night, man, we got into it, and it was just like banger after banger after banger. And, man, trying to keep up with that damn drummer and bass player, uh, Tim and Jordan are ferocious musicians. Okay. So, uh, and thanks to everybody uh, that has been to that. So we've got a tie breaker on the the, uh, the CD that we're raffling off. We're raffling off the uh, in-stereo CD, and I wanted to I wanted to mention to you guys, you know, getting into this raffle is like a dollar entry point. These guys aren't sending like thousands of dollars or anything. You know, I'm not Uncle Larry, um, and so um, the entry point for these raffles is like a dollar, right? So uh, we've got a tie though at two guys at a hundred bucks. So if anybody can beat that, uh, I'll raffle this off. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do a little tie break breaker. And I think, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have my phone to check because I took screenshots. I think both their names are John. Now, don't crucify me on that if, if, if you can help it. But um, anyway, there's that. We got a tiebreaker at 100 bucks, So uh, either we can figure that out or, or whatever. But anyway, so in stereo. Um, okay, so look, guys, here's the thing. This I could get into so much stuff here about this, but let's, let's just do a, a little overview. If I'm playing A minor to D minor, to E7. That is such a great platform for all kinds of awesome melodic, uh, you know, soloing and ideas. But the first thing I want to do is I want to know how to outline those chords. So my A minor is going to be root, flat third, fifth root. Now, if I really wanted to simplify that, I'd play the root third and the fifth. 
D minor, same thing. E7. Or. So let's just keep it as simple as possible. Watch. Go to the root third fifth octave. Flat seven, root third fifth, flat seven. That really defines that E7 chord. Okay, let's keep it going. Root third fifth, uh, root third fifth, root flat three. seven that's my C shape E7 here's the full arpeggio now if I'm resolving back to A I can just do that right so again all the way up to the to the to the uh, the flat three on the on the, on the G string This, this, I'm just showing you the, the, the guts of this because it just keeps going. It just keeps going and keeps going. But if you're one note off, like I almost was there, it's going to throw the whole thing off and it's not going to keep that cool rhythmic cadence, right? Now look. Here's the other thing. I'm starting on, I could start on the root, the fifth, or the flat third, right? So if I start on the root, that's the, uh, or sorry, if I start on the fifth, starting points the fifth the root and the third so if I go that's starting on the fifth here's starting on the root here's starting on the third example of the melodic content there so if I go if I start on the fifth actually let's start on the root so I'm just taking this so the A minor D7 E7 A minor so I'm just I want to get I want to hear what those changes sounds like here's the next three strings Seven, A minor, A minor, D seven, E seven, A minor, A minor, D seven, E seven, A minor. So if I go, Stuff I'm talking about. So watch. As soon as I go, that 
covers D minor. A minor. E7. So I'm building these little arpeggios with these two and three notes, you know, again. doing two notes watch I love that man because it's so melodic if I go uh you know go A minor to A dominant 7 to the D minor. That's a great trick. So if you go that's a great little trick. Because you're really going you're just walking up, right? But look, I love these little um, these little recurring chord relationships. Now watch, if I really wanted to simplify this those two notes right because that's all coming from here ah. so you're seeing that's an e7 I just did this out of the blue you go well that doesn't really mean anything but if I go you know you know it starts sounding like something right so anyway that's a little just a little idea of some of that stuff Look, there's those two little little notes we like to use. Those little sixths, watch. A minor. D minor. Because D, D minor. So A, A minor. So D minor. D string, B string. E7. I'm not doing this. That's too country hillbilly for this kind of stuff. We need to get south of the border, man. We need to think uh, hot. So like this, right? I'm going to go all the way up. So that's uh, fifth fret. Ninth fret, twelfth fret. Then guess what's right behind that? Right there, or this. Right behind it, right? So watch A. There's A minor, so check that shit out. Watch. It's a diminished sound, right? So if I go Let's see That's a great melodic thing right there, watch uh, Just taking the root and the flat three of A minor E7, right out of the A shape. So watch. A. E. Guess what else 
doesn't work. This was this doesn't work. It's not dark enough. It needs to be. Stuff I, stuff I was talking about. Watch. A minor to E7. Okay, once again. over A. That's a mode. It's probably gonna be Rick Beata. He's gonna tell me that it's about modes. We, we when we were down at his house the other day, he goes, "You know, you keep telling everybody not to use modes, and you use modes all the time." I was like, "I know, Rick, but I don't think like that. I don't think like that. I'm still thinking about the chord, no matter what. I'm hearing and thinking about the music at the top, and then I might superimpose a few of these ideas that people think are modes. But if you start thinking about it's like trying to drive and read the newspaper and drink coffee and smoke a cigarette and, and play with your kids and, and all that at the same time. Well, that's not safe. Well, if I'm playing music and I'm trying to, you know, follow the song and I'm using my ears and I'm, I'm watching other musicians and I'm trying to create music, the last thing I want to think about is these, are these layers of all this different, you know, confusing theory and and math problems and option anxiety and, and what to do. And that's part of being confident and being a musician and playing music. So, hey guys, enough of this bullshit. Um, I hope you got something out of a few of those examples there. Um, I just felt inspired to, to, to you know, um, share a couple of those little things with you uh, after teaching a, a private lesson here a little bit ago. And we got into some great stuff, man. And so please check out the links below, the two different uh, tiers of private lessons, the two different tiers of guitar immersion experiences. Uh, there's been some great ones. I'm making a lot of great friends ar around the world doing this from Australia all the way to East Nashville, baby. So um, come see us in New York. We'll be at the Berklee School of Music on the 15th. Then I go to Chicago with Dennis Quaid. And then I come back to Nashville to do uh, a bunch of stuff here. We're, we're, we're doing a special thing with Oats in September. I got some updates to the Artist Works curriculum. We're going to do 100 new lessons for Artist Works with new backing tracks, a whole new thing. We're putting a new coat of paint on that Artist Works curriculum in August. And then um, uh, a bunch of other stuff that we're doing too. So, hey guys, 
Look, thanks again. Hit the tip jug if you're getting some out of out of this stuff. You know, I gotta get some coffee every once in a while, and then um, uh, we'll just see you guys real soon. Check the links below. Follow the mailing list. Help a brother out. Um, I devote these 20 minute lessons to you guys, which I love doing, and you gotta help me out a little bit too on the flip side. Just uh, you know, the the mailing list and stuff like that is a huge help. So thanks again. We'll see you guys real soon. Love y'all. Cheers. All right. Bye.